What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. Well, we have very quietly gone up to 833,000 packs, uh, so less than 170,000 packs until the next summoner is unlocked, which is the Fire Summoner, Fire Legendary Summoner, Conqueror Yasik. Now, I am very excited about the summoner. I think that it, it is going to, or he is going to change the meta completely. And so this is just a PSA to let you guys know that we are approaching, in my opinion, escape velocity. Now, I, I hate, 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 and I apologize for being that kind of FOMO person, right? But I am just reminding you of how quickly things escalated the last time we hit a major milestone for a legendary summoner with Grandmaster Wrath. So I believe we knocked out the last 100,000 packs in about 36 hours. And if you see where we have gone over the last couple of days, I do believe we are very close to reaching that kind of escape velocity. Now, from very early on, like a month ago, I said that once we hit 850,000 packs, I think the FOMO will start to kick in. I... I still believe that, although I can provide you the counter argument now that people just may not feel the need to top up their packs or whatever the case is, right? Like you could you could feel that way about it. Um, but I still believe that we are going to get this summoner unlocked. I don't know when it'll be actual actually available for play because obviously that'll depend on when uh, you know when, when Cryptomancer wakes up, <laughs> which was the complaint last time. But with with this, I do believe we are going to hit this before the next town hall, which is Tuesday of next week. So six days from today, I know we're only, we were only averaging like 10K, 15K per day. So this is well above that. But I do just want to call this out for you if you need to or would like to uh, top up your packs. Now, the important number here is 575. For every 575 packs you have purchased, you will get a guaranteed Conquer Yasuki. You may get one more, or you may get more than that. You may, uh, but at the very least, if you have 575 or a multiple of that, you will get the guaranteed amount. Could potentially be gold foil as well. So, that is really all I wanted to say. I mean, there's Agrod is in the map chat right now, just fomenting as much FOMO as he can. So again, I I don't mean to come on here and just create unnecessary FOMO. So I, I I'm trying to structure this as somewhat of a PSA. Now, all this being said, to tell you not to FOMO into this, the price of Grandmaster Wraith is significantly lower than I think any of us expected, $22. And I don't think we should expect much different from Conqueror Yasek. Now, I understand people are more excited about the abilities that Conqueror Yasek brings. Fire is a much more exciting uh, splinter for, for many people to play with. There's a lot more interesting monsters and combos. Everybody's really pumped about Conqueror Yasek. So I think it could be slightly more, but on the whole... We still have a long way to go until the end of Chaos Legion, uh, because even even the most aggressive model out there, which Agro is sharing, shows no uh, November sellout date. That's still three months away, right? End end of November. So there's still plenty of time, and uh, we are coming up to September tomorrow, or at least the tomorrow from the point that I'm recording this. I'm not sure when you watch it, but September is generally a down month for Bitcoin and crypto. So. There could be some slowdowns, potentially, right? So if there are, then I, I'm i saying that there might be good entry opportunities. So instead of you going out and buying 575 packs just to guarantee one BCX airdrop, save that capital and maybe just buy it off the market. And maybe it won't come down to $20 or $22 the way that Grandmaster Wraith did, but I would be ready. I would be ready as soon as it hits the market. You'll have many people trying to offload and you might just get some great deals because in that kind of aftermath of Grandmaster, Wrath, uh, Grandmaster Wraith's um, release, I believe the price went as low as $15. Like people were just trying to get rid of them because you had so many people that just had extras and just wanted the capital. So there might be some deals to be had if the same thing happens. I'm not saying that it's going to go down to 15. I'm just saying that there might, that the price might dip down lower as so many of them hit the market at the same time. So keep an eye out. Whether it is to grab something, grab, grab some more packs before, the, uh, before we hit the, the 10 million, 
or if it is to start saving up capital or allocating capital on the side to buy once they become available on the on the secondary market i'm just giving you this psa so best of luck i hope you guys get as many as you want i hope the rng is ever in your favor i will catch you all in the next video and i will see you around the game take care